this is Umel from Umel Gaming, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to uh, another stream here for uh, my Preparing for War uh, series, which is a series meant to lead up to Shadow of War. Uh, a few things changed since the last uh, entry to start with. My stream and my recording actually will show my OBS in the background, like with this. This is because of the fact that my, um, um, what's the word? I'm having issues with game capture, so I have to use screen capture instead. Uh, ignoring that. Oh, whoops. I, am with child. I hope this is my save file. Child. I was off of the post, commanding the Black Gate. But I'm anyway, I was just, just having some issues here, and so this is meant to uh, address those issues. I can also uh, uh, show my webcam uh, and all my various things hotkeyed. That's just uh, make it easier for me. But all as you can sure you can tell, uh, this is my uh, yeah, this is my save file. But uh, my sound quality is a little bit better than it was before. It might have a little bit of popping, but it won't have uh, all the issues that happened before. And that's because. Um, I've I moved about what my stuff was in my uh, area to make it so it's better for recording. I actually have my uh, microphone arm coming in on um, Monday, so I can get a stand and all that for my microphone, so I can adjust it where exactly I want it to be. But right now, I got the next best thing. And the final change from last time is I'm actually uh, switched to keyboard. Uh, and mouse over uh, controller because as you were aware my, in my last stream there was quite a few points where I was having issues with the uh, controller I'm actually just adjusting my headphone volume I have it up really loud again but yeah I was having some uh, issues with uh, my uh, RB button in my uh, my place and in my playing and all that so yeah Hopefully everything else is fine. I didn't really adjust my notification sounds, so if I get like a fall or something, that should still pop up. But let's look at uh, Sauron's army. I'm trying to refresh what I want to do. Oh yes, I remember. I wanted to keep Radanak Fleshrod alive because he could be a very good uh, nemesis in the future just because of his uh, traits and all that. He has a uh, fear of burning and he can be damaged by combat finisher, but he has nothing that would kill him outright. He's invulnerable to stealth, ranged, and has Monster Slayer. So, like, three forms of attack against him are... He's immune to them. He has the Ambusher trait with the Humiliator trait, which means he'll show up when you don't want him to. Uh, and he'll humiliate you when he takes him down. Then, to, for DPS increase, he has Poisoned Weapon. Then he also has Inspiring Presence, which will make it so all the nearby Uryx will attack you all at once, other than one at a time. And finally, he has Vault Breaker, which uh, limits what I can do when fighting him. So yeah. Going back, to, uh, but I remember what I was going to do. My next target is to take out Zumug Beast Slayer. And his two bodyguards, Mudsglob Ghoul Slayer and Nazduk Metalbeard, are both probably weak in the grand scheme of things. Like, just take a look at, let's say, um... Uh, Metal Beard here. Let's go to uh, details page. Like, look at all these weaknesses. He's vulnerable to combat, vulnerable to stealth, and vulnerable to mountain beasts. They kill him instantly. Um, he's clumsy, so he can be grabbed no matter what, uh, when. And he has a fear of more guy flies, which means that with the more guy flying, he'll run away. The only thing he has going for him is sniffer, which basically means that oh. He uh, might be vulnerable to stealth, but it's really hard to sneak, because he can sniff you out. However, that being the case, he still can be killed instantly with combat finishers. So get off one combat finisher, the guy's dead. Then going back to... Uh, I'll actually be marking him, because he's my next target. But uh, going after a Ghoul Slayer, he's not as bad, but he can be finished instantly with combat finishers. So once again, a combat finisher, and he dies right away. And he's vulnerable to stealth. So if I can sneak up on the guy, I can kill him without even having to fight him. He has a hate of ghouls, which is fitting uh, for his name. That will make it so if ghouls are nearby, he becomes stronger. And then he has some uh, Vault Breaker again. And he has Deflect and Counter, can deflect attacks and follow with a counter attack. And Summoner can cause nearby allies to join the fight. 
So he can be a pain in the, uh, the fight with these uh, four strength, but his weaknesses are fairly uh, easy to exploit. And then even Zuma Beast Slayers, uh, he's vulnerable to stealth, so if I can sneak up on the guy, I can kill him instantly. And so that's the thing, is like with all of them, if I can sneak up on them, I can kill them. And so they're going to be fairly easy to take out. Or he might be a little bit harder, depending on the situations of his mission. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to head off through Nasduk Metalbeard. I just hope that good old uh, Radanak Flesh Rot was his ambusher. Which, even though it says he's in the, a different region of the map than uh, Metalbeard, uh, Radanak will uh, follow me. So it doesn't matter where I am in the map. He will find me, and if he feels like it. And just for a refresher, he has a fear of burning. So that's the only way I can really chase him off. Otherwise, he's just damaged by combat finishers, which honestly, I think almost every uh, enemy, unless they're like a combat master, uh, is uh, vulnerable to that. So it's like probably the most common weakness in the game. But yeah. Uh, so now that the, all of that's laid out, actually, no, I have to quickly uh, go to options, keyboard and mouse. I gotta see uh, dodge, sprint, climb, and spacebar. Grab is left control. Uh, just uh, grab is the main one, and. Combat, stealth of left shift. Okay, that's uh, aimbow. Um, okay. Where is, uh, first of all, where is the counter is right uh, mouse. Okay. And I gotta make sure that the charge bow and uh, all that, so. Okay, yeah, Jack, I get that. Hold down right click and then you hold down left click to do that. So anyway, he's a... Uh, over here, so I want to go to this uh, tower. And what was Wraith World? I think it was uh, Z or X or one of these ones. V. There it is. It's V. So ooh, who's that? Nas, dude. My target. Found him right away. Hello, Nasduke. It's time to compose a symphony of broken bones and rent flesh. Yeah, sure, Nasduke. I'll take so, drain. Let's try to shank him. So that's how easy Nasduke was. There's nothing special about the guy. Okay, so now let me go. Uh, no, I want to target Muzglub Ghoul Slayer, who is having a trial of ordeal. So let's mark him as my target. He's not one I have to find. I just gotta get to him. Okay. Oh, that's Uruk's Hollow. Coming around here, coming from that entrance will be the easiest way to get in there. <laughs> uh, 
Actually, I gotta see how I have to uh, run. Like I said, I haven't used keyboard and mouse yet. Uh, run. No, that's it with combat, so actions. Sprint is spacebar. Okay, okay. So by holding down spacebar, there we go. Push it down. Okay, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to... Okay, how do I hit guys who are on the ground? I need to seriously, uh... Combat. Execution is F. Okay, that'll be easy to do. From the side! All right, there we go. Like I said, getting used to um, using keyboard and mouse when I've never used it really, in, at least in this game. And uh, yeah, it just takes a while. But by uh, getting better with it, is the only way to do is practice. Stop the slave! Okay, there's slaves that I set free are running away. Thing is, there's a guy going for the alarm, but it's not like he knows that I'm here. See, they went for the alarm, but they don't know I'm here. And that's the thing. They, uh, it's just a slave ran through and uh, alerted them. See, they're all going back to where they were before. Like, like I said in my uh, last stream uh, with the videos uploaded onto YouTube, if I'm looking over to this side here, it's because of the fact that I got a stream here and I'm monitoring it. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, start the mission. Trial by ordeal. So. Let's see what uh, Muzglob is uh, doing. Okay, it's just a uh, Karagor. Need more proof of my strength. All right, let's do this. Okay, he's vulnerable to rain. Hello, Muzglob. I'm gonna have to kill you, you I'm afraid. to die publicly. That's fine. I can help you with that. It's going to be painful, though. Painful and slow. Sure have a lot to say there, Muzglob. Okay. Not the way I was wanting this to go. Didn't want to hit the Karagor. Okay, he did get him. Oh, I mean, he got the Karagor. Not bad. That's a lot easier to do with, uh... Oh. Stupid hunter. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, he's not—he's not, he's not uh, involved with range. That's honestly how I should have opened up this uh, fight. Yeah. 
to just make my way to him slowly but surely. Okay. Okay. Oh. I feel weak in the knees. Kuga Luga Blade Sharpener. I would have preferred the trial ordeal to not been in a fortress, but you can only ask for so much. Okay. But oh well. I'm not going to stop moving. That's the only thing keep, keeping me alive right now. All right, another guy down. If I can get this berserker down, that'd be nice. Another guy down. Oh, no, 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 not what I was about to do. I'm not trying to vault. There we go, I got him. Got my target. I wonder if I can kill this other guy, because he might very well be a, uh... Oh, he. Okay, he's got a grapple. I will roast your bones over Yeah, I lower his health. I forgot about that. Alright. I know that. It's really easy to fight. I'm actually gonna interrogate. Cause I need to know about other war chiefs. So I need at least one more war chief to know about. So let's see this guy. Okay, Hoshu the Thirsty. Fear of burning, fear of more guy flies, can be injured by combat finishers. But he's invulnerable to stealth, invulnerable to range, has a heavy attack and body slam. He's battle hardened. Has backlash, so my counters won't work against him, and he's a fast runner. So overall, he's a good at combat, but he's got uh, fear of burning and more guy flies. But the real uh, thing to note about him will be his bodyguards, which I can see in a later date here. So I want to pick up this. So I need this one as well. The reason why you pick them up is that if you leave them in the thing, they'll actually, uh, they can actually crash your game if you leave too many of them open. Uh, but anyway, I was wanting to look at his bodyguards. If I get lucky, he doesn't have a bodyguard. That's perfect. So I can take out, uh, both these war chiefs now. Uh, let's start with Zumug, because he'll be a think easy to fight because he has a hate of defeat yes but if I can sneak up on him I can kill him instantly and even if he uh, isn't uh, if, even if I can't kill him by sneaking it doesn't change the fact that um, he doesn't have that thing that makes it so my counters don't work and right now counters are pretty much the only way I have to fight but anyway let's uh, look at these upgrade points because I unlocked uh, the next tier of abilities here Karagor Hunter is a quest item, uh, a quest the thing, you uh, get it by, uh, uh, obviously from that, from the quest. So anything that's gold is something that you can only unlock from the missions. Um, so Stealth Drain, that is nice. Left Shift and an E allows me to drain them. 
which will lead into a uh, combat drain, which will allow me to drain them all in combat. That allows me not only to uh, basically get elf shot back, but pin in place will be nice if the enemies aren't uh, invulnerable to uh, range. Because it, it's in the name, it pins them in place. Um, brutalize, uh, a terrifying stealth kill that causes nearby enemies to be flee and builds the hit streak. Uh, throwing daggers, pressing Q to throw daggers and deals light damage and causes enemies to stagger. Last chance finisher, the ability to deal a lethal finisher and last chance struggle. That's actually really good against uh, common mobs. And critical strike, double hit uh, streak gains on well-timed attacks. Tap uh, left mouse only once each strike connects to receive the bonus. Other well-timed moves such as throw dagger can uh, be critical strikes. So, uh, I'm not sure if I want stealth drain, throwing daggers, critical strike. One of those three to add to my combat repertoire. Stealth drain, because it leads in the combat drain, but that's going to be a while before I can get that. So I think that will be in the back burner for now. Uh, because that would, uh, combat drain will allow me to get elf shot while in combat. So that would be nice. Uh, so throwing daggers or critical strike to assist me in combat. Throwing daggers because it gives me just another method of attacking. Critical strike increases just my overall damage though. I'm gonna go for throwing daggers now just because it can stagger enemies. Oh, there's my phone again. It's probably just an email. Just let me check. Yep, an email. I don't get very many emails, but like I said, I ordered on Amazon. I, I forgot to go to uh, the map. On Amazon, I also forgot to mark which target I want to go for. But on Amazon, I uh, went and uh, uh, ordered uh, the, uh, like I had already ordered in the phone and all that. But I also, uh, through Amazon Prime, Ordered in a uh, uh, microphone stand uh, just last night, and that was just a confirmation that it's been shipped. All right, well I'll let them Karagors fight with those Uruks. I'm just gonna continue on. All right, except. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the. Oh. Make this Uruk scream, and his master shall answer. Make him scream? Grab and hold. Okay. Archers, just get your arrows in that beast's skull if it comes near. It's our sorrent. Okay, so which way do I want to go? I wish there was a guy on that. Oh, there is a guy up there. Perfect. This guy. So I'm going to drain him. So this kills that guy. Back to work and stop talking Ooh. I gotta grab and hold that guy, but he's surrounded by dudes. So what's my plan of attack going to be? I would I would hit that uh, like I could uh, shadow to him, but I wanna try and uh, eliminate uh, some people first. Eliminate some people. See, they're gonna be suspicious, but they won't know what's happening. They don't know where I am.
See, they're looking for the guy who killed them. My focus isn't quite back yet. So I don't really need focus. So it's just, uh, one dude over there. I can get some more elf shot. Oh, don't tell me that he actually got hit by that. Scream, and I'll shank him to death. Hey, you don't want to hurt him. Hopefully that works. Oh, no, it didn't. Uh, I was hoping I, uh, the guy would have showed up. It didn't work the way I wanted it to. So I waited until it hit zero. Oh well, I'm right here so I can just go at it again. My fault. Make this Uruk scream and his mouth. Yeah, 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 I answer. get it. Are the guys I killed before still dead? If they are, I think it's going to be a lot easier this time. I think I can just... Run this way. Okay, he's still there. But these archers are gone. Okay. So I want to eliminate these guys again. So they're suspicious, but they don't know where I am. Elf shot again. Or are they gonna come to me? Hmm. They're gonna come to me. 
me. I don't think they are. But if they were, that'd be nice. See, the reason why I'm taking all this trouble to uh, isolate the guy is so that uh, when I eventually do get, uh, get him isolated, uh, I can kill him after the guy shows up. And that should allow me to... Uh, here's some help shot. This should allow me to uh, go and kill him after the guy shows up and then just go back to stealth. They shouldn't know I'm here. Well, the guy should know that his guy is screaming for help. But if I can get back into his stealth, then I can... Uh, Yeah, we're just gonna be here. Just out of the way, no one nearby. And then as soon as we're, you're dealt with, I'm just, oh, and the guy shows up, I'm shanking you. Alright, he's here. Perfect, he's down below, so I might be able to just jump him. Is he climbing up here? Please be climbing up here. Yes, I stealth killed him. And that's all. See, like, once I got the guy out, he was easy. Thank you all for watching the video. This is Yumel from Yumel Gaming. And if you wish for future content, please like, subscribe, comment, show your support. It's really appreciated. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.